How you doing? I'm doing seen great, you in a man. While. Where do you it's, get these it's clothes? Been a minute, man. Like, where does one, where does one go to get a jacket like that? I've never yeah. been in a store that had one. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're on TV and everybody has social media, I want to have something on this different so than everybody people else. People have shiny clothing. They should send them to you. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And then tune in, and you'll see it on TV. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> there man. are uh, what four games, four playoff games this weekend. Yes. Uh, which to the, is the biggest for you? The Cowboys game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you know what I like? Stop playing. Stop. I like that you just openly root for the Cowboys because that's your team and you're just being right. honest. And, and think about this now. In the business that I'm in, broadcasting and, and being an analyst, everybody used to be, well, you have to make sure that you remain unbiased. I'm like, stop. Yeah, I right. won three Super Bowls with this team. This team paid me enough money to get out of the ghetto. Right. I'm not going to act like I'm unbiased. Right. Stop. It's your stop. team. I'll be the best I can, but stop. Yesterday, you, know? you gave the team a pep talk. Yeah, I talked to some of the guys. Mm -hmm. How did that yeah. go? What did you tell them? What do you say? And, and I'm so busy, I don't usually go, get a chance to go over and watch the guys practice, but I went over yesterday because it's such a big moment. This is a huge moment. It's nothing like actually experiencing winning a Super Bowl. And I was telling the guys, I said, listen, man, you got to got to This is it. I said, when we were playing, man, we were winning Super Bowls, it was like the Beatles, baby. Whatever city you went in, you had to go in the back door, the hotels. Everybody was there waiting on you. You want to experience this. Don't let anybody stop you from experiencing it. You want to have this moment. It's an incredible moment when you win championships and you wear that star on the side of your helmet. Do you it's think that real. they don't know that until they actually win? That that's something There's that... There's no way they can know it. They yeah. were barely sneaking their heads out of their mom's wombs when we were winning Super Bowl. Right. They were babies. This do was you, 25 years ago. Do you tell so, these guys how much more fun you had than oh. they are having now? Do you ever, like, just sit them down and say, you think you've got it good? Boy, oh boy, in the 90s. <laughs> Did we have a party? <laughs> Look at that. Just me saying it sends you into a, a state of euphoria. Yo, yo, let me tell you this. It's funny. I was doing an event, right? I was speaking, and it was an event about social media. And they asked, they asked could I have done well in, in social media if it was Ooh. back in the 90s? I said, trust me. I got in a lot of trouble when it was news at 11. You know what kind of problem I would have with Twitter every second? Are you joking? I'm like, I don't think so. I, I, my time was my time, and that was the right time. There's no way yeah. I could have survived this Yeah, time. Or maybe it would have went the opposite. Right, right, right. I saw Jerry right. Jones, uh, your former boss of the yes. Cowboys, just bought a $250 million yacht. Yes. Will you go on right. that yacht? Will you sail around with Cherry? I'm, I'm going to get on that yacht. <laughs> Absolutely. I helped him pay for it. I was doing one of the Super right. Bowl. Right. He bought the team for 150 and the yacht for 250 I was like, wow. That's a, that's a lot of money, man. That's yeah, a lot no of money. kidding. Yeah. It's great. It's over a football field. It's like over 100 yards long. You know, Jimmy, I, 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 I'm good. You know, I'm good, but I, I'll never know that life. <laughs> I'll never know that. Your life has been plenty fun. Don't yeah, worry it, about it that at all. Good. There's no good, I mean, no complaining it, it from you. It has been good, buddy. You, uh, been good. you get fired up sometimes. In fact, we have a clip here, you uh, with Stephen A. Smith. We're talking about number of champions. Okay. We're still up there right now. I asked you a Those question. Teams. I asked you a question. So, uh, got... well, when you go to history, let's go into history. Don't just go to your history. Let's go to their history. This is what they do, see. They go to their history, but they won't go to all over the history. Mike, they go to all I'm sweating out here. Why am I sweating? If it got hot in here, I'm sweating. No. You're firing people up. Michael, Michael. Yeah. Well, look at that, dude. You really got passionate. Hey. Hey. That ain't fake sweat. That ain't like take a break and spray some sweat on you. That thing is real, that man. That came yeah. from your soul. It, it gets real, man. I, I am a passionate uh, about the Cowboys. I, I, I love, and I love football. I when love you have football. an argument with somebody who did not play the game, like, well, like Steven or anybody, and not uh, specifically him, but whatever, do you feel like you just go like, what do you know? You didn't play. Do you feel like well, uh, automatically you have the upper hand? Well, you, 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 can, you can know the game. There are certain things that go on in, 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 in the middle of experience and actually playing that you can't possibly know. But, but you can know the game. So, so I give him credit. He's a smart guy, and he mm -hmm. sees things, but but there's just that little titch that you can't get to because you never hit that field. 
your son plays college football at your yeah. alma mater. University of Miami. Yeah, yeah. Did he, did, was he required to go to Miami, or did he want to go to Miami? Well, he wasn't required to go. I told him when he was a young kid, you know, 17, 18, I said, son, listen, you, you, it's your decision. You can make any decision, go to any school you want. Just let me know, because if it's not Miami, I can stop feeding you now. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, just, just let me know. You, you would not eat again. What was it like? You know, your son grew up obviously wealthy. You know, his yeah. dad's a famous football player. What was it like when you went to college, when you <laughs> played college football at Miami? Well, now, and, and, and here we are talking about a different time now. You got to remember. Yeah. Now, I got, you know, I got 16 brothers and sisters. I'm the 15th of 17. Okay? Right. That's quite a bit of us. We didn't have a TV, my mom and dad. They, so, so we had a lot of babies, a lot of kids <laughs> in the house, right? And, and, and I, I, oh, man, when I first got there, Jim, the first day I got to school. Now, I'm, I'm going to school to try to get my family out the ghetto. I was clear-minded what I have to do. The first day I got there, I got in a fight and, um, with, 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 with the office of linemen. Oh, and, boy. And, wow. and, and, and this was at the training table. This was our first meal at the training table. <sighs> what did you got to fight over? When I saw this training table coming from the ghettos of Fort Lauderdale, uh -huh. I'd never seen a table of food like that. And, and I was trying to order, I said, I want that steak right there. And the senior, get back in line. He's a senior. You, you're a freshman. You can't eat yet. I said, oh, OK, no problem. I want to follow the rules. So I got back in line. And then, and then we waited a while. And then he ordered. He said, give me that steak. The same steak I wanted. <laughs> and I was being cool about it, and then something just clicked in me, and I took the trick, cracked it over his head, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> and Jimmy, Jimmy thought, this is a true story. Jimmy calls me in the office. Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy yeah. Johnson. Yep. He said, Michael, what is going on with you? I said, Coach, I had never seen a steak like that. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> so, you were in love. Yeah, I was, I was in love <laughs> at first steak. I was in love. You're right. <laughs> I, I was well, in love. it is always great to see you. Uh, watch Michael on NFL Game Day morning, yes. Saturday at noon Eastern, Sunday 9 a.m. Eastern on NFL Network. Michael Irvin, everybody. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.